Have you ever produced a visual that rather than immediately showing your audience what's important to focus on actually hides the most interesting part of your story? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. And with so many options available to visualize your work, choosing a graph that doesn't best show your data can lead to those critical elements being difficult to find or worse, completely hidden from view. Today, we are going to look at an example and take steps to identify what the important element is that needs highlighting and then look to redesign the visual to deliver this crucial finding. Now, this data is from a small company that is looking to get a sense of its sales pipeline across its four regions, north, south, east and west. And the data is broken into five categories which relate to the progression of any given opportunity, prospect, conversion, presentation, agreement and formal offer. Now, the pipeline composition is expected to have minor variations between regions, but the proportion of opportunities at each stage should be consistent overall. Any notable discrepancies should be flagged to management immediately. Now, I'm sure that whoever created this particular view has a good sense of what they are trying to achieve. But does this set of pies make it easy to find anything important? Likely not. And if you were able to identify some elements of interest, it probably took some considerable amount of time to do so. To begin with, I'm going to leverage one of our favorite techniques here on the team, the where are your eyes drawn test. This will help me identify what areas I'm currently focusing on and where I can leverage opportunities for change. If you want to learn more about where are your eyes drawn, you can check out the other videos in this playlist or down in the description below. The test is a simple one. Firstly, glance at the visual, then turn away or close your eyes for a second or two. Then glance back and see where your eyes are immediately drawn to. When I looked at this, my eyes went to a few places. First of all, those regional title boxes. Secondly, the orange slices of the pie charts really stood out. And then finally, there's quite a bit going on with those duplicated legends. At this point, I'm hunting for clues, guessing and making assumptions around what is the key piece of information here. Now, reading a single pie has its challenges by virtue of how you consume it using a combination of the slices area and arc length. And then the addition of multiple pies makes this task even more difficult as the elements we are looking to compare. The pipeline stages are separated and located in different places on the pie. And while you should look for alternative visualizations to avoid this complex comparison, on occasion, your audience might demand to see a pie. If that's the case, you can take steps to make that comparison slightly easier. Thinking back to what my eyes were drawn to in the original view, I will take steps to first of all, remove the background shading to those regional headers, then add sequential color rather than categorical, removing that attention grabbing orange. And while the duplicated legend was distracting, it also alerted me to the fact that the slices were sorted in alphabetical order. So I'm also going to sort the data in a more logical order. Making these changes, we now have a greater chance of finding pockets of inconsistencies within the regions. And if we were to do the where are your eyes drawn test again, my eyes now go to the darker blue colors representing the more concrete stages of the pipeline, the agreement and the offer. And if we scan across these, we can see that with the East region, we get a sense that these later stages do seem to be lower than the other regions. While this view is better, you still have the challenge of comparing multiple pies. It's at this stage that you might consider an alternative visual that allows a more efficient comparison. This 100% stacked bar view still shows the pipeline stages as part of a whole, but evaluation of the pipeline across the regions is a substantially easier task compared with those four pies. Now we can take advantage of two distinct baselines. The first from 0% looking to the right, and then the second from 100% looking back to the left. Now it's the view from that second baseline that makes the problem facing the East region clear. The final two stages combined, agreement and formal offer, represent barely 15% of the pipeline, compared with an average of nearly 30% across the other three regions. In addition, you can see that a notable amount of the East pipeline is in the prospect and conversation stages. Now this is alarming and shows that the short-term prospects in this region are bleak. Management needs to be informed. 
Now that you have a clear visual and an accompanying message, you need to take steps to turn it into a communication that will make the focus unavoidable and the action to management clear. Now for the explanatory visual, you'll want to direct your audience's attention to those two final pipeline stages with an emphasis on the East region. To begin with, we can remove the color from the earlier stages of the pipeline, retaining just the key colors for the agreement and formal offer sections. Then we can reorder the bar so that East is at the top where it will be most prominent. Then visually fade out the other three regions with slight transparency or less intense colors. To create an executive summary slide, include the final version of the graph with some accompanying words articulating a clear takeaway title and call to action. In this case, you could call for a surge of sales support in the East to help tackle the backlog at the conversation and presentation stages. This would allow the pipeline to be pushed through at a quicker pace. When creating this slide, I was also reminded of those blue regional headings in the original view and decided to leverage that attention grabbing aspect by adopting a similar technique, albeit with gray rather than blue for my slide title. This critical information had been present in the graphs all along, but was not easily retrievable to us or our audience. By conducting the where are your eyes drawn test, I was able to identify and adjust the distracting aspects of the visual, which then allowed the data to be discoverable. Then by choosing a more appropriate visual and taking steps to call attention to this information, an important finding has been able to be highlighted to our audience with the proposal of actions to remedy that concern. For more examples of visual transformations, check out the before and afters in our makeovers playlist. Until next time, Goodbye and have a great day.